Hey everyone, it's me, Ellie here, and it's been a while since I posted a video, but today I have a sunrise makeup-inspired look for you guys. You know, summer-inspired, even though, you know, it's almost fall. <laughs> Getting it out a little late, computer broke, problems, you know. Right now I'm taking a white NYX jumbo eye pencil, and I am just smearing it all over my eyeballs. And I am now taking a translucent shade, it's about the same color as my skin tone, and building it up with a, you know, a little, a little darker shade just to add a little bit more dimension. Now going in with a hot pink shadow, you're going to put it on the inner half of your eye, the outer half of the eye, and into the crease. Just leave like that middle section blank. Now I am taking um, LOL by NYX and putting it right in the middle. It's just, you know, a bright orange shadow and building up the pink more. Now I'm just, you know, blending it out. Blending is so important when you're doing makeup looks. Let me tell you. Very important. Now I'm just, you know, putting concealer where I put all my concealer, all my acne, all my blemishes. You know, no shame. Everyone gets it. <laughs> now I'm using a cream contour foundation inspired thing. I am going in with a darker shade and then I'm putting a lighter shade on the high places of my face, you know, under my eyes, cheekbones, nose, chin, forehead, such. Um, you know, putting an eyeliner, false lashes, doesn't really work for me. <laughs> Now I'm just using a light blue teal eyeshadow and a dark blue teal eyeshadow and blending them in so it's a nice gradient from the inner corner to the outer corner and blending it out. Now I am taking a nice gold highlighter if you have a gold eyeshadow that works too and I'm putting that right on top of the orange to you know kind of make it look like there's a sun. <laughs> now I'm taking a white highlighter and I'm putting it on my brow bone and my inner corner of my eye and warming my face up with some contour colors just you know help my face look a little less round. <laughs> and I'm contouring my nose. I don't always contour my nose. I think my nose is pretty defined as it is but you know sometimes I like it looking a little more defined so I like using a fat brush so it's not very obvious that I've contoured. <laughs> now I'm just going in with highlighter on all of the high places on your face, on cheekbones, nose, forehead, lip, cupid bow, all that jazz. Now I'm using this muted pink, sorry, that was my phone, <laughs> lipstick. It's a matte, liquid to matte shade. I love it. Um, it's one of my favorite lipsticks I actually wear quite often, just not in videos for some reason. It's by Sephora. I have absolutely no clue what the name is. I cannot find it right now. <laughs> and I'm just, you know, lining my lips like normal. I'm not even overlining today. I don't know why. Just didn't, didn't, didn't feel it. Didn't want to. Now I'm just using a setting spray just to, you know, finish it all up. And here is the finished look. All together, it really didn't take all that long. Surprisingly, obviously, the video is only four minutes long. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and maybe use it, you know, next summer if you want to reminisce in the summer a little more during fall. <laughs> all right. Love you guys. Bye.